All right, what's up guys? Today on Tactical Rifleman, we are gonna do a couple of my favorite rhythm drills. Are they the most important drills ever? No, but they work on a couple of good skills and uh, they're really fun. So we got Mikey here and Mikey's gonna be our demonstrator. But before we start, here's a word from today's sponsor. All right, hey, this week's video is sponsored by Zenith Firearms, right? MP5s, everybody loves MP5s. You see them in all the movies. Well, how about if you want to get your hands on one? All right, there's a company called Zenith Firearms. It founded in 2014, family-owned company based out of Afton, Virginia. Their flagship, the ZF5, made in America. It is the first in a full line of roller delay blowback firearms, parts and accessories manufactured at Zenith Firearms. Full-size 9mm firearm capable of semi-automatic or fully automatic, uh, depending on the model and the needs of the end user. It's got the optional Picatinny rail if you want to throw some those optics on it. Threaded barrels on all of them. Interested? Check it out at zenithfirearms.com. All right, welcome back. So here's our deal. So I've told Mikey about these drills, but he has not done them yet. Um, so this should be fun. Rhythm. We're talking about rhythm between shots, timing the shots. Now, in combat, do you need to time your shots? No, you don't. You just need to shoot everybody that needs to be shot as fast as you humanly can until they're no longer a threat. Awesome. Um, really, this is working a couple of different things that are actually important, right? The main thing is our trigger control and getting our finger used to a bit of a rhythm helps our brain kind of go into this good cycle of shooting. And the second thing is it kind of helps with some of that expectation. You may or may not know it, but even the best of shooters have some recoil expectation while they're shooting, right? And so when you settle into a rhythm, sometimes you still dip a little bit, not enough to really miss your target. Uh, the better you are, the better your grip is, that kind of stuff, but that's not exactly what we're discussing. So we're gonna do two drills. One of them is a little more practical, and the other one is a little more to develop our thinking, right? It's gonna make you think, and we're gonna mess you up a little bit. The idea is, look, uh, we're shooting, we have three targets. They're, they're giant targets, you can't miss. It's not really an accuracy drill. The point is to really develop that good capability to pull that trigger on a rhythm, okay? So the first drill we're gonna do is the more practical one. It's called 22422. Why? Anyone worth shooting once is worth shooting twice, as Carl likes to say, right? So we're gonna double tap. Now, really it's gonna be more like a controlled pair, okay? And we're gonna do two on each target going either direction. So it'll be two, 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 right? Um, what I want you to try to do is shoot it nice and fast, okay? We're working the transitions between targets, but what we're also doing is I want equal gaps between each shot. Cool, let's see what we got here. We're gonna do this on the timer. Guys, this is not really about time, it's about the rhythm. You good to go? I'm good. Shoot ready. Stand by. Not working, all right. Shoot ready. Stand by, up! All right, so that was actually really good. That was good rhythm, Mikey. Um, what we're trying to do is even out the rhythm, right? Now, it wasn't 100% even, thank you. <laughs> it wasn't 100% even. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna slow you down a little bit, okay? We're gonna slow you down a lot bit, okay? So I want like a shot per second, okay? But I want them all to be spaced out completely evenly. Okay. Think you can do that? I think so. All right, let's do it. Shooter ready. Stand by. Tack mag reload, excellent. You wanna change mags when you want to, not when you have to. Good muzzle control, good battlefield awareness, excellent. 
and refill your speed reload. All right, very good. Let's see if we can mess with your mind a little bit, because Mikey's doing a really good job, right? It was reasonably even. Um, so we're gonna go to our second drill. Our second drill, guys, this is fun because this makes you think, yes, they are kind of ammo burners, right? Two, two, four, two, two, that adds up to 12 rounds. So that's 12 rounds per. We're gonna go to the one through five drill, which is actually a 15 round drill, okay? Um, what you're gonna do, Mikey, is you're gonna shoot one round, then two rounds, then three rounds, then four rounds, then five rounds. This is where it messes with your head a little bit. Let's see if we can start really, really slow, right? And make it sound like a metronome. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. All right. Shooter ready. This one doesn't have a lot of sound, so I'll hold it close to your ear. Shooter ready. Stand by. Nice, safe and hang. All right, so what you'll notice is, for most people, that was good, it was pretty even. It's very difficult to slow yourself down while shooting that same target, right? Uh, let's start with this. Let's raise our point of aim a little bit, hide over bore, right? We're at uh, about 10 yards. Um, so let's raise our point of aim a little bit so we're a little more in the real uh, high A zone. And what you'll also notice, guys, about rhythm is, it's easier for most people to transition in one direction versus the other direction. Typically, going back uh, for a right-handed shooter, going back to the left seems to be faster for a lot of people. Mikey's a southpaw, and it was kind of the opposite, right? It's kind of easier for you to transition this way than that way, right? right? All right, so what we're doing is we're kind of evening them up, right? nice and slow, and then we're gonna speed it up. So let's do it again, and I want about a shot every half a second now, okay. all right? Shooter ready, stand by. Nice, all right. What did we notice? So we shortened it from about 12 and a half to nine and a half seconds. This isn't a speed drill, right? The reason I'm timing it is for me to have a gauge of how to speed up or slow down. It's really, it's not if you do it faster, you're better. At this point, later on, you can have little competitions with your buddies and it's a really, really fun drill. Here's what I do want you to notice, especially on the last target, that's where it's obvious, the target on the left. All your shots were a little to the left of where you want them. That's a result of what this drill does, right? Is you're trying to force yourself to slow down when you're shooting one target, but you're trying to transition between targets as fast as you can. And yep, and what we see is left and right, and that's one of the great things this drill helps us with, is we went a little too far, but you already started shooting, so you held it there, cool. All right, we're gonna do it again, but now let's try to center it up in terms of windage, okay? And we're gonna speed up a little bit. Guys, transitions between targets, we've done videos about it. All right, when you transition between targets, as you finish shooting whatever target you're on, your eyes, not your head, but I'm gonna demonstrate with my head, your eyes move and it's like there's a rubber band attached between your eyeballs and your gun. So as your eyes move and settle on the next target, your gun's coming and stopping right there. So what I want you to focus on this time, other than just the rhythm, is I want you to focus on aiming. Now we gave you big old targets, right? I want you to pick the tiniest, tiniest little spot on that target to aim. The smaller of a spot you can focus your eyes on, right, the more uh, chances you will have of actually landing exactly on it, okay? And what I want, Mikey's, already, Mikey's been training with us forever, he already knows this stuff, but for your benefit, I want you to understand you're not driving that gun across. You are moving with your legs, not your arms, right? You're not pushing that gun, you are moving that whole tank turret with your legs, okay. right? Let's do it again, and let's speed it up just a little bit. Okay? One through five drill, nice and fast. 
Shooter ready. Stand by. Safe and hang. All right, what do we notice? We noticed a couple of things. First of all, when you try to speed up, that's when you mess up the rhythm, mm -hmm. right? Second thing we noticed is on the second to last target, which was supposed to have four rounds, was five rounds. This is why it's fun, right? Because it starts messing with your head. It makes you think outside of just your regular up drills and that kind of thing, all right? So let's do it one more time and get it perfect. Gotcha. Uh, shots were better. Let's raise them up a little bit, right? Don't forget your height over bore. Boys and girls, shoot ready as fast as you can. Stand by. And finish a drill, finish a drill, finish a drill. Here's a mag. All right, guys. So now. We are getting to the end of this. This is really fun. By the way, you can do this with rifle, pistol. Obviously with pistol, it's gonna be a little bit slower, but it's way more fun with rifle. So, Mikey, here's what we need, right? We need to slow down the shooting, speed up the, uh, the transitions between targets. So, let's see how we can do. All right, just remember, you pick that smallest spot you can on each target and lock those eyes on until that reticle on your beautiful little EOTech just lands right there. Shooter ready. Stand by. All right, one more. One more. We can go faster. We can go faster. Let's see if we can pump up the speed a little bit. Transitions were still slow, you know why? Because you're pushing your gun. I want you to move from your, uh, push your knees, yeah, from your feet. Okay. So guys, when you're transitioning, right, this is just like shooting on the move, right? When we're walking and shooting, what's important is to split the, uh, split the motions of my body into upper body and lower body, right? Upper body is that tank turret, lower body is that tank body with the tracks on it. Right? And it's the same thing here, so it's all lower body motion, right? So if I'm trying to move my rifle from the left target to the right target, you'll notice that my upper body is not changing anything, right? Your, your control hand, okay, in Mikey's case, that's his right hand because he's a lefty. So Mikey's right hand has one job and one job only, and that is to pull that rifle into his shoulder, right? So if I'm trying to move from the left target to the right target, I'm going to push on my left foot. I'm gonna push that left foot over. Okay, and that's driving that tank turret over in the direction I want. Conversely, if I'm moving from right to left, I'm gonna push on my right foot. All right? And Mikey, quit hitting me with brass, man. That's just not friendly. Shooter ready. ready. Stand by. Good. Here's the next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna run it one more time, okay. okay? There are gaps between them still, right? So you're shooting the steel as fast as you can, but the transitions are a little slower, okay. right? Um, so work on that. You can slow down the shooting and speed up your transitions like before, okay? The other thing I want you to think about is trust yourself. Okay. Trust yourself. As soon as you see that dot on target, Right? You're locked in, but as soon as there's red on the target, acceptable sight picture, start pulling that trigger. All right? Mag. Like so. Don't throw a full mag. What's wrong with you? Shooter ready. Trust yourself, Mikey. Trust yourself. Slower shooting, faster transitions. Shooter ready. Stand by. Good, okay, safe and hang. So, we're gonna keep working on this, right, because there's a few different things that this drill works other than just fun time. There's a few things they work. Uh, if you'll notice that leftmost target, most of those shots are a little far, which means two things. A, 
we need to tighten it up to the area we want, but by doing so, we're also gonna make you shoot sooner. Right? Cool? Hope you guys enjoyed this drill. I love this drill, both these drills. They're fun, they're competitive, you can compete with each other, and once you get that rhythm down, it's actually gonna help you transition a lot more quickly. So we've worked on rhythm on trigger, right? And more than anything, we've really been working transitions between targets, but we've been doing it in a way that's fun and get your brain thinking. Uh, one last time, 22422 two, two drill as fast as you can. As fast as you humanly can. You ready? Yep. Shooter ready. Stand by. All right. 431. Cool. Okay. Brothers, thanks for hanging. Yeah. It was fun shooting with you. And as always, guys, you know, hit that like button and all that shit. You know what to do. See you next week. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.